Apostolic Christian Assembly Perambur Ministries present Truth for Growth a daily devotional program God bless you as you prayfully listen to this brief biblical teaching for your spiritual growth Now Pastor Adam Samuel Ingerton will bring to you the infallible word of God Shalom Warm greetings to you in the most precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Repentance is the prerequisite for restoration. As we all know, the pattern of the prodigal in the New Testament is rebellion, ruin, repentance, reconciliation and restoration. The wonderful news is that our Lord is a God of mercy. and he immediately responds to repentance repentance means you change your mind so deeply that it changes your life completely it is much easier to repent of sins that we have committed than to repent of those that we intend to commit for our today's morning devotion let's turn our bibles to luke's gospel chapter 23 verses 40 and 41 But the other answering rebuked him saying does not thou fear God seeing the what in the same condemnation and we indeed justly for we receive the due reward of our deeds but this man had done nothing amiss in Matthew's and Mark's account of the gospel it is said that both the thieves who were crucified with the Lord Jesus at first reviled the lord jesus we do not know exactly what it was that brought about so remarkable a change in the heart of the penitent thief perhaps it was the look of pity pardon and mercy on the face of the savior as they and the people were railing on him perhaps it was the savior crying out from the depth of his soul father forgive them for they know not what they do whatever it was the remarkable thing is that the thief had a complete change of heart the thief sincerely repented and confessed his sinfulness even to the point of rebuking the other thief for not fearing god he also admitted that his own execution was a just punishment then amazingly he acknowledged the sinlessness of christ and his own belief in eternal life and the coming kingdom of god in just a few moments the thief had so humbled his heart that god could do such a wonderful work in him many do not come to such a heart condition even in their whole lifetime of knowing the lord jesus salvation is a result of a sincere confession of our sins and a recognition of the lord jesus as the one who has the power to save those who in the fear of god sincerely and deeply confess that sins in true repentance will experience paradise in their souls that very day dear child of god repent for all your sins till paradise prevails in your heart the one thing that really moves the heart of god is of a genuine repentance we all know how the lord jesus responded to the thieves true repentance the lord said in luke's gospel chapter 23 verses 42 and 43 and he said to jesus lord remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom and jesus said unto him verily i say unto thee today thou shalt be with me in paradise the one thing that the lord jesus immediately responds to is our true repentance the lord said to him today thou shall be with me in paradise true repentance friend is for today today if you truly repent the lord wants to do something beyond your expectation and imagination see what the lord says in zagariah chapter 9 and verse 12 turn you to the stronghold ye prisoners of hope even today 
do I declare that I will render double unto thee. Dear child of God, let's turn to the Lord Jesus today. He is our stronghold. You may perhaps be a victim of circumstances, but do not worry. As long as we have life, we have hope. Just turn to the Lord today. I mean, just turn to the Lord in genuine repentance and you shall experience God's twofold bountiful blessings today. God be with you. Amen.